All right. First word problem, the alcohol mixture problem. Any of the solution methods from above are now applicable to these. So if it can be, if it's set up for the addition method, I can use that. If it's easy to solve for one of the variables, I can use substitution. If I'm feeling really crazy, I can graph them on Google. But the whole point of these, all of our methods before we had two equations, solved them to figure out the single pair ordered pair solution, which has two unknowns, an X and a Y. I have to have at least as many equations as I have unknowns. So two equations, two unknowns. So that's what we're looking for here is two equations in terms of whatever I decide to call the variables. Now for the purposes of like, if you're going to graph them or use the calculator, having them in terms of X and Y is easier. So I'm gonna default a little more towards using X's and Y's. Um, but if you're just gonna do it by hand, you certainly don't have to do that. So our first one, alcohol mixture, stupid problem. All right. So I have, I want to know how many ounces of 20% and 35% alcohol solution should be mixed to produce 15 ounces of 30% alcohol solution. So this is, I've got two different kinds of booze and I wanna mix a drink that's only 30% alcohol for some magical reason. All right. So this is where I think of it like if I could separate the pure alcohol from the not alcohol. Like if I could concentrate it all down and color it one color and then the rest of it, we'll just call it water. So one of my solutions, only 20% of it is alcohol. The other one, 35% is alcohol. And I got to figure out how much of each of these, I dump it in, the pures combine, and it ends up being 30% of 15 ounces. So this is our, the amount of the liquid times the concentration of the liquid is the amount of pure substance, in this case, alcohol. So let me type that just to save us some. So we have the amount or volume. I'm just going to use an X there. Concentration, which is really the percentage, usually as a decimal. And this is going to be the amount of pure substance. And that is what we are going to use to set up a table. Which is apparently a pink highlighter table on this one. <sighs> Cats. All right, so I do know my two concentrations. I've got 20% and 35%. And then the final amount is I want 15 ounces of 30%. So there are two totals in this kind of table. The volumes of liquid in math land, when I add those, when I pour them together, they just straight add. In chemistry, that doesn't actually work. But mathematicians don't know that, so they think it does. And in cooking, you know, usually in cooking, you're measuring the same thing over and over. So it works. It's when they're different concentrations that it doesn't totally work, but the difference is so minuscule. It doesn't matter for cooking, but that is going to be one equation. The other one that will total up is our amount of pure substance. So I don't know how much is going to be in each of those, the, how much of the 20, how much of the 35%. So those are two unknowns, and that's what they asked for. How many ounces of each of them? So that is our variables. That's what we want to make it. Whatever the question is asking you for, that's what you want to make your variables. So I'm just going to fill them in, X and Y. So that means the first equation is 
x plus y equals 15. Now see, isn't that pretty? All right, now to figure out the other one, I need to know what the heck goes in this column on the right. And this is where I use my formula. So the amount times the concentration, x times 20% or 0.20 is 0.20x. y times 35% is 0.35y. 15 times 30% is literally 15 times 0.30, which we can crunch on the calculator. So that is our second equation, 0.20x plus 0.35y equals 15 times 30 is 4.5. All right. So now I need to solve these together. So the second equation has decimals. I could multiply by 100 to clear the decimals, which does work, gets a little weird. The first equation though, my coefficients in front of the x and the y are one. So I can solve for y and then substitute into the second equation and work it from there, which is the way we did it at the beginning of the semester, except sometimes I would write the y here. In fact, I think I did do that in the video, but then I would immediately figure out what y was, 15 minus x, and then I'd write that in place of the y. I prefer it this way where you see the two separate equations. So yes, the way they did it before works, but why? Another bonus is I solve it for y, I could graph it. And in Alex, there's a utility where you just, you graph the two and then intersection. You have to argue with it a little, but then it'll give you the intersection point. So y is the same as 15 minus x. Now, if I was going to take the second equation and solve it, I'd minus the 0.20x, and then I put that 4.5 minus 0.20x all over 0.35. So put the top in parentheses over the 0.35, graph that, you're fine. Alex does not care how you type the numbers in. They don't care if it looks pretty or not. They just care that it's numerically correct. So with decimals like this, it's probably the way I'd go, but I'm a glutton for punishment. So we will work it out. 0.20x plus 0.35 times 15 minus x equals 4.5. 0.20x is plus... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I could think really, really hard and figure that out. I don't want to. So 0.35 times 15 is 5.25. Minus 0.35x equals 4.5. All right. So 0.20x minus 0.35x is a negative 0.15x. And then I'm going to minus the 5.25 over here. Just because the way I wrote this, I'm running out of room. But I can make more room. Ha ha, room. So let me actually. And that is negative 0 0.75, but we are going to divide by a negative, so this will turn out to be positive, so we're okay. And 75 and 15 actually do divide nicely. Ugh. Five. So all that work for five, five what's.
x is 5. I go back here, that's the amount or volume column, ounces. 5 ounces of 20%. So y is whatever we need to get to 15, which is 10 ounces of 35. Now, if you want to kind of common sense, does the answer make sense? The gut check. I am mixing more of the 35% than I am of the 20%. So if I mixed equal amounts, 7.5 ounces, I would get the middle value according to math. I'd get 27.5%. But what I want is more than that. So to get the concentration I want, 30%, I need to add more of the higher concentration to pull that resulting concentration higher. So that is why Y is more and thus X is less. There is a way to kind of number sense your way into the answer. I've had a few students do it, totally fine with that. There is logic to it that is applicable every time. So by all means, if you've got kind of like a number trick way that you think through it, that's fine. That is it for the percent one revisited. Yeah.